guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. It's been just a day since I listed this after I finished it, after four episodes uh, where I got this tractor for free and then I got it running and then I shined it up and everything looks great. So I listed it for $6.75 on all the three platforms, Craigslist, OfferUp, and Facebook Marketplace. So a guy locally in the next town over in Northport, he uh, texted me and said, ooh, can you deliver? And normally I would say I usually don't deliver unless I charge a fee. And you'd have to pay that fee up in advance because what happens if sight unseen, I deliver it, load it, drive it over there. If he for some reason doesn't want it, I just wasted my time and gas loading it and driving it round trip and didn't get the sale, you know? Being that this is only like five or ten minutes away, I did a little bit of investigative work on the guy. His Facebook profile really wasn't very descriptive. However, I did get a name and his address. So I did a reverse background check lookup on him. It's free. You can find it on the internet, whatever. And it seems like the guy just bought the house like less than 10 months ago. And he bought it during the winter, which means that he didn't require any kind of lawnmower in the winter, right? So now, this is his first summer in where he lives now. And uh, perhaps he has a bigger yard than a push mower can do and he's ready to buy. So I did verify that he does live there. Doesn't seem to be a scam. He was very open about giving me his address. So I feel pretty good about it. Uh, so I, I told him I would deliver for 50 bucks extra. So he didn't bargain on the price, 675 plus the 50, 725 delivered. <laughs> I'll take a chance. You know, if he doesn't buy it, I took a chance. If he bought it, 725 in my pocket today. Let's load this baby up. I sure hope it starts. You guys saw guy was a big tall dude uh, from the UK believe it or not and uh, like Andy the Brit anyway the house that he bought is from the 1800s 
So I says, wow, that's amazing. The 1800s, eh? If you guys would have won the war, that house would have been yours anyway. <laughs> anyway, he didn't know anything about it. It was his first riding mower. I taught him how to use it, and uh, he thought it was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and so, uh, no fuss, no muss, you know what I mean? $725, or 685 quid. <laughs> Good sale, uh, wasn't on the market for very long, maybe 12, 18 hours, something like that, and got sold just like that. I am out of uh, lawn tractors to sell, if you don't count Rodimus Prime, which still has a deck vibration issue, which I just cannot figure out. But uh, so far I just have that, and my Toro 616Z zero turn, which now I might have to whip out to mow my lawn, you know what I mean? Uh, and then now I have a Husqvarna lawn tractor that has a cracked engine block in the Kohler Courage that's in it. It does run and drive though, but it leaks oil out of the crack. And so uh, that's probably my next um, project. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit off for a bit, enjoy the 4th of July weekend coming up. Oh. And uh, I'm ahead by a month of videos, so um, you guys remember a while back I picked up a John Deere LA120 tractor off the street, uh, thanks to a tip from my buddy Jason over at Pate's Performance. I stripped that thing down and kept the engine. So I have a 22 horsepower or 23 horsepower Briggs V-Twin that I'm going to put on that Husqvarna and, and get rid of the, the Kohler Courage. So a uh, great, great sale today. Sold two tractors in two consecutive days. That's amazing. Shout out to my buddy Ernie McDonald, who bought one of my gun channel stickers, the Angry Panda with the gun. <laughs> a lot of you guys also follow my gun channel, which I'm appreciative of. But usually, if you like lawn tractors, you kind of like guns too. You know what I mean? And uh, I appreciate the donations that are coming in uh, slowly but surely, but every dollar counts. If you have a dollar in your pocket, PayPal me. If you've got two dollars, even better. Thanks a lot for your support. Keeps the videos coming almost every day. We'll As you guys may have remembered from a previous episode, I was driving home one day and I saw one of those Craftsman rear engine 30 inch riding mowers. I've had about four or five of them in my life. And uh, this one, I just picked off the street. And uh, what happened was we noticed right away that the transmission was cracked in half. Some really big guy was sitting on it and jumping on it or something. But the evidence points to the fact that the engine's probably good. Why I say that is because there was fresh grass all over the deck, which means that the guy was just cutting it. So maybe the transmission gave way while he was cutting it meaning that there's absolutely nothing wrong with this engine. Looking at the engine, the oil is good. And today, uh, I listed it for sale, and um, some guy has the exact same tractor, but has a blown engine, so he needs this exact OEM 13.5 uh, Briggs flathead for his. So uh, I told him I'm gonna need about $200 for it, right? And he also wants to buy two front wheels, which I also kept. And I'm gonna throw in the double stack pulley that goes on this. Um, so he wants to make sure that it works before he buys it, which is understandable, right? So I have it sitting on this old wheel and uh, the crankshaft is between the hub and the rim edge. So it's in free space. So what I'm gonna do is I hooked up my jump starter, my jumper pack to the starter itself. Uh, I'm gonna take off this air cleaner, right? And I'm gonna spray some sure start starting fluid, 50% ether into the carburetor mouth. So that once we crank the um, starter, it should at least turn over a few revolutions. And that's all we need to do to know that the engine is will run, you know what I mean? Uh, what I think is, I think the engine's just fine, and it was running before the 
trans uh, before the transmission went bad. So it should be all good. So here we go. We're gonna spray some ether into the mouth of the carburetor. I'm gonna. There's no. It's not connected to anything. See. So right now, it's off choke. I'm gonna spray a decent amount. Uh, now I'm gonna choke it manually. There we go. And I think because it's not connected to the module or any ignition switch, it shouldn't be killed in terms of the magneto. So we should have spark. Let's try it out. So here we go. We've got fluid in the carburetor. I'm gonna hold it down with this hand. It's connected to the starter. Let's see if it turns over. There we go. Just like I expected, thing turns over and runs. All you need to do is connect it uh, to the original tractor and uh, the fuel tank so it gets gas. And there we go, it's a good engine. Now I'm gonna get my uh, Toro 616Z out because I have sold both of my lawn tractors and I don't have any lawn tractors to mow my rear yard. So I have to whip out my own. It's in here, it's been sitting for a year. Uh, I have to turn on the fuel shutoff and because it's a fuel pump, fuel delivery, you got to spray a little bit of stuff into the carburetor to help it out. Otherwise, you're going to be cranking all day for that fuel to go through the fuel pump into the carburetor. Oh man, it's hot today too. I know I'm going to sweat my balls off in there. Perfect, cranked it a couple of times, started right up. Wheels all hold air, engine runs fantastic as you can hear it. Let's try this out with the mode.
I stoked. You guys saw from uh, summarizing it, starting it up for the winter storage to mowing my front lawn, lickety split. I mean, I mowed my front yard and my backyard in like 10 minutes. Oh, by the way, those are my new neighbors. That guy has no idea what he's doing with his lawn, but it's okay, he can learn. He, uh, the former guy that lived there, you guys remember that cop, he moved away. He was a nut about his lawn and he just, this new guy just destroyed it. But it's okay, it's a learning experience, you know what I mean? Anyway, I just love the zero turn, fellas. Uh, you, there's nothing like a zero turn, seriously. Look at that, that's fantastic. First cut with that thing this year, it just mowed it fantastic. And it was so fast too, lickety split. Stoked, man, love that thing. Anyway, uh, tomorrow's July 4th. Gonna have my cousin's family over. Uh, my son's home from college. So I got some fireworks from that time I went to Pennsylvania for his World Series. Gonna shoot at some fireworks. See you guys later on Mowers and Blowers. you guys enjoy the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.